Good morning, everyone. Welcome to our Monday morning meditation. I'm in my usual location, just a little bit of decor <laughs> rearrangement, which I'm not done with, so it'll be different next time. But welcome to our time today. I hope you had a wonderful Memorial Day meditation. Ah, oh, I wanted to mention too that next week I will be at an all day training that goes from 8 a.m. to 8 p.m. So um, I will send out another um, pre recorded meditation to use during our time, and I will be wishing I was meditating with you. <laughs> no, looking forward to the training, but I definitely will miss our time together. And then I don't foresee any other um, Mondays being off for at least the near future. So anyway, so good to have you here. And I wanted to just mention that um, we are never alone. That was the, that was the um, message for today. And as I was thinking about our time together, I was thinking, um, you know, when I was a child growing up in Sunday school, one of the messages that stood out to me, I don't know if you guys had Sunday school going to church anyway. Um, one of the messages that stood out to me was not my will, but thine be done. And I don't want to get all religious -y on us today, but there is just a, a sense of that this morning as I was preparing for our time together. And, and, you know, so many times as a therapist, I hear people feeling lonely and feeling um, like nobody cares or you know, just worried about being alone and, and feeling that loneliness. And, you know, even when we're in a large group of people, we can feel alone sometimes. And, you know, the one of the um one of the things we can get in touch with in our meditation time is that connectedness, how connected we are to everything. You know, when we sit in nature, we can hear the birds around us and the rustling of the squirrels jumping around and rabbits and whatever other critters are going. And, and I know many of you are able to sit outside and, and hear the locusts. You're probably able to sit inside with a pillow over your head and hear the locusts right now in some locations. So, you know, there's there's always life around us. and now, whatever your belief system is about how that life was created, you know, there is life in everything. There's life in the air. You know, even if we just stick with science, right? There's life in the air. There's mold spores and different bacteria and, and just part of um, part of nature is floating around in the air all the time sometimes bothering our allergies, <laughs> our sinuses, and, you know, but, but there's always life there. And as we are working with our meditation time and listening to our heartbeats, listening to our breath, we can feel the, the life inside of us. And that life is so full and valuable and precious that even sitting with our own self and valuing our own self can help with that sense of feeling alone because we are with ourselves. We are with ourselves. We are responsible for ourselves. You know, sometimes when we think of feeling alone, it's because we want somebody else outside of us to take care of us, to meet some need that we have. And we are social creatures as human beings. So there's nothing wrong with that. There's nothing wrong with wanting companionship. There's nothing wrong with wanting people around us or family, friends, social activity. That's okay. It's good. That's healthy too. And again, we can feel alone when we're in the middle of a large group of people. So we want to acknowledge that self that we are and that self that we are the ones responsible for that self. So we are never alone because we are always 
the mama to our baby <laughs> inside. We are the mother, father, and child all within us to take care of us. And that that's so, I don't want to, I don't want to underemphasize that importance, that relationship that we have with ourselves. And we are never, ever, ever alone when we are loving ourselves, taking care of ourselves, doing the things we know we're supposed to do without a mama on the outside telling us what to do or when to do it. We, we are that parent. We are that child. We are everything. And we're part of everything else in the universe. We really are. And that we can understand that in our heads, but we can also, when we get quiet and we expand our awareness, first embracing ourselves and that love for ourselves, and then letting that expand to include all of humanity, to include all of nature, to include all of the earth, all of the planets, all of the stars, the whole universe, we can feel build up. We can feel that that connection, no matter what else is going on in the world or inside of us. So we're just going to focus on that today, that little thing, no big deal, <laughs> that little concept. So I invite you to get comfortable in your chair, wherever you're sitting. Take a couple of deep breaths. Let your body relax and melt into your chair. Do some of our quick breaths or breathing into the count of four, breathing out to the count of four to just coordinate that mind and body, to synchronize it. And just count to four as you breathe in. Count to four as you breathe out. Really pay attention. Let your full attention be on that breathing right now. And the count is not a quick four, but a full four. One, two, three, four. In and out. If you are steady with that breath, we're going to continue that. That breath pattern gets steady. You'll notice it's easier to keep in rhythm, becomes more natural. It's like, almost like our mind and our body and our breath go in different directions sometimes. So focusing on the breath, 
allows all three to become one, grounded and centered in a body. And part of our quick coherence practice is letting our attention, as that breath becomes more natural, letting our attention be at the top of the heart. You can imagine where your heart is in your chest, and where the top of it would be. Just let your attention rest there. I'd like to put a finger or two there just to help direct my attention. It's not even the full heart, it's just the top where we're really pinpointing our attention. I like to imagine that I'm kind of sitting on top of my heart. Relax. at peace and rhythm with that breath. Whenever we focus our attention on one thing instead of the many directions our attention usually goes throughout the day, we we can notice more sounds around us. Maybe there's a clock ticking or cars going by, birds chirping. Perhaps you can hear, feel your heartbeat. Let your inner self be that quiet. Give yourself to that center in your heart. 
Give yourself to that in love. Just feel that love that you generate within yourself just by being present so deeply within. If you hear or feel any critical voice in there, just kick it out. You wouldn't do that to a friend, so let's not do it to ourselves. We're going to fuel that unconditional love. And if there's anything inside saying, yeah, but I'd like to be different. I'd like a different body. I'd like a different circumstance in life. I'd like a different, different people in my life, whatever. That's okay. Those desires are okay. But right now, we're just going to love who we are right now. You are not alone. You are with you. When your mind wanders, just bring it back to this presence. Sometimes when we're holding things against ourselves, our shoulda, coulda, wouldas, our guilt or shame about anything in our past or worry about the future, just kicks our attention out of that center. And it's our job to come back. All those things are okay. 
We made it through everything we've been through in the past. Maybe we wish we had done things differently. It's okay. We could have done them differently and still wish we would have done them differently. So there's no, there's no way to do things perfectly because there's always a better, sparklier way to do it. So we're going to let ourselves off the hook and just bring our attention back, 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 back to that center. Back to yourself. Practicing, it's okay, I'm here, I'm right here. And as your mind wanders to the future, just notice that the future is going to be different than anything we imagine anyway. So there's no point in coming up with how things are going to work out, how to do things differently. The future will be what it is. So we come back to that self. Come back to yourself. Feel your own presence. Feel your own company. Feel that loving acceptance of who you are right here, right now. Feel your presence, your love moving in and through you with each breath in and each breath out.
and let your loving presence engulf you, be all around you, inside, outside, surrounding you. And if you can continue this presence and love, right now I invite you to just keep keep sitting with that, sitting in that. You are not alone, not ever. If you need to go about your day, just take a couple of deep breaths, maybe a few of them, just to breathe in that love to every cell of your body, knowing it all around you and taking that with you all day, tuning into it as many times as you think of today and every day. And if that thought or feeling comes that you feel lonely or alone, come back to this space. Come back to this reminder of the truth that you are the loving presence that you could ever seek on the outside. Tune into that love many, many, many times every day this week and beyond. Thank you for being here with me as we share in this time together. I do appreciate you and your willingness to come together and, and provide this energy and time for each other. Thank you. And I will see you live in two weeks. And I will be holding you in my heart next Monday while I'm at my training. And I look forward to seeing you very soon. Bye-bye.